Okay, so I figured I would do a quick um, kind of video of this flat iron. Um, for reference, my hair is blow dried. I am somewhere between like a 4A, 4B uh, natural hair type, and this is the let's see if this will clear up the Kapuzi, I think it is professional uh, flat arm. Um, and I got this today from Amazon and I'll have more details about um, the features of this at the bottom. But um, I'm just going to section off a small part of my hair and flat iron it so that you guys can see the result. I'm just gonna do a thin section like I normally would. Section the rest of my hair up and I'm fully blow dried so it's nice and dry. And I'm gonna do the chase method and this is my first time using a larger than one inch flat iron. So this will be interesting. I'm gonna look at myself in the mirror so I don't burn myself. I'm typically between 360 and 370 is what I use some of my older flat iron. Um, so I think it's ready. I should have read the manual a little bit better, but here we go. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's pretty straight. It's actually really straight. And my ends, they look pretty good. Uh, my hair doesn't feel dry. I may need a trim, but um, yeah. So first impression, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my head and you guys will see videos once I'm done. Bye. So I wanted to do a quick follow up as I'm going through and flat on my hair. I have flat on the back part of my hair, so I will turn around so you guys can see that. And hopefully you guys can. Um, I may need a trim, so don't mind if I have any split ends, but my hair is nice and silky. Um, it flows really, really well. Um, and here's just like a close up. I think it's pretty fl uh, straight, I'm sorry. Um, and I have super, super coily hair. So, between my blow dry and this flat iron, um, I'm liking it. To me, the results look a lot sleeker um, in the mirror versus on camera, but this camera like highlights everything. So, um, I will come back and show you an update once I am all done. Um, well, maybe I'll take the last section and actually show you um, the flat iron working, but I did actually Move the temperature up from 360 to 370 so um and it's i'm really able to flat on my hair super super fast okay so i've gone through and i've straightened but like basically 80 percent of my hair um and i actually went back over my ends um and i'll turn around so you guys can see still flowing um looks very healthy in my opinion um but I feel like the uh, flat iron catches a little bit on my ends. I don't know if it's because my ends are like super duper curly. I mean, take it down so you guys can see my blow dry portion. But like, these are my ends. So I don't know if it's just because my ends may be a little damaged or because they're just so curly, that's why they pop out like this or they blow dry or come out like this. I'm not sure, but um, I do feel like the flat iron catches a little bit on my ends only, but it's not like the plates aren't like damaged. I don't know if you guys can see that. I mean, it's brand new. I just literally just got it today. Um, so I don't know. I did turn the temperature up once again um, to 390. So I am currently flat ironing my hair on 390 because I do feel like it gives my ends a much sleeker look. Um, so I might have to either get a trim or um, just know that because of my ends, um, I have to flat iron 
on a higher temperature than I am used to. All right, so I take my section. I spray heat protectant on my hair um, when I blow dried it, so I did not go back in and put any more uh, heat protectant on my um, on my hair. Um, and I will have details in the description box of the process that I followed to prep my hair for a flat iron. Um, I'll make sure I list all of that. My edges are starting to grow back, so I've been kind of fiddling with the best way to to get those with this flat iron because I don't have like a a mini flat iron to really get in there. So it's been working as best as it can. <laughs> into two and I just go slowly finished result up close look at my hair nice back view it flows really really nicely it's nice and silky and soft it's not greasy um, I like it um, I don't think my hair has ever been uh, this long thanks to protective styles but um yeah so I'm gonna go in um I will probably trim my ends a little bit later and then just bump it but so far I am pretty happy with this um flat iron okay so but um this is let's see if it says over here this is a one and three four so 1.75 inch uh Flat iron it says it's keratin treatment. Um, but this is the Nano Titanium Hair Styling Iron. Find your flat iron inside of this nice velvet pouch. Um, I don't know if it comes in other colors. I really don't care. Colors don't matter to me because it's about how functional the product is. <sighs> um, but it's white and orange. It has some buttons here. 
see if I can get this to focus. There we go. Um, these two, sorry, the plus and the minus control the temperature. The PS4 settings that they have for um, different styles of hair. And then here's the power button that you would just press on and hold for three seconds to turn it on. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's get that to focus. Here we go. Use a manual. Um, and then it just has like just some instructions. But as I was telling you, here are the settings here. Um, 270 is typically for fragile hair, um, which I don't think any natural person would be able to use that temperature this low with this iron. Uh, 350 is for damaged colored hair. I would say that was the starting point for me, but I actually had to go up as high as 390 for results. And then 410 is usually for healthy hair. But my hair is just, I can't get over like how much body it has in like movement like this. I've never had that. So... Um, all in all, I would say if you are looking for a new flat iron or you're in the market for a new flat iron, um, I would definitely give this a try. Again, I did feel like it was a little bit of some pulling slash snagging, um, but I think it's just really my ends. <laughs> I think it's my ends and how we'll, like curly and frizzy they easily become and get so i think that's more of the issue versus the flat iron actually pulling and snagging on my hair so don't let that be a deterrent um but outside of that i'm gonna wrap this video up because i hate long videos um I hopefully this video slash review helps someone um and i will keep you posted on the longevity of this flat iron and one more thing before I go, I wanted to show because this was very helpful on Amazon. When you're looking for a flat iron, I would look for reviews that show that the plates actually close all the way. Like there's no gap. You can't see my hand behind it. None of that. It also has this, it also locks in place so you can lock it. It won't close like this, which is why I closed it myself. But as you can see here, when it's closed, there's no light, air, or gap. Like, nothing. Can't see. So, that's uh, very helpful, and I wanted to mention that. So, now I'm really gone. Bye, guys. <laughs>